Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Asus web storage and yeah, what it really is, what you can do and if it's really legit or not and yeah, I hope to stay really below about 10 minutes for the whole thing. Uh, by the way, this is an update. I've done this about one year ago after I already got such an offer and I was curious if this really works. So I was looking a little bit deeper into that and for me uh, it looked like it's not working because there were some things which uh, were quite limited so they have changed it a lot to this year and the price is still very cheap so it looks uh, much more tempting so this is what i have found so here is the website when you go to asuswebstorage.com you sign in to an account i mean the account is free then you get this website where you can yeah drag and drop your files and you can already download a sync program and you have everything looks really good i mean the user interface is pretty cool and you get also this option here to buy one year subscription pretty cheap by the way if you want to know where the download is here on the left side you have to click on that it's a little bit slow and then you get the pc client where you can do much more with this thing you chose uh, yeah <laughs> there's a test file here already so you have basically these three options here you have the sync folder that's a, a folder when you install the software on your pc you will see that you can select where it has to be like c asus and then something sync folder and everything what you put there into this folder will then be here so uh, put it here so you can see that so here's my yeah my directory of my sync folder and whatever i put there it will go after that into this thing here on this website and there's also there are three things there is the personal device this is as far as i can see that's everything what is backed up by the client and there is cloud only files which you just drag and drop here into this cloud storage so it has a little bit different thing so not everything is will be on the same space yeah i think it's not bad maybe it be it will be a little bit confusing at the beginning but i think it can be really helpful if you have these three different sections depending on how you use it by the way if you go to pc client you will get uh, to a website where you can select which operating system you have like mac or linux and you can also have android and ios so that's very good so but let's go uh, to the offers what they have this is the same offer which you get by email or you can find maybe online i don't know and also when you set up your account you will get this at the left bottom one ter uh, terabyte for one year 13 dollar and 49 cents and yeah we have it here uh, also same and we can see a little bit more details uh it's unlimited number of login devices that's good back up on one uh pc then single file upload it's limited to 50 gigabytes i don't see that uh, that as a problem usually you should be fine with that then uh, daily file sharing limit file sharing is just what you share with other people it doesn't have to do with your limit and then member limit for collaboration collaboration folder that's uh, uh, other people where you can share uh this that seems like five people where you can share uh, this thing and version history 30 days it's a little bit short but uh, probably it shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem by the way you can pay in different uh, currencies 
so that's the basic option and if you dig a little bit around uh, in the emails which you get as confirmation and in the software which you install just check everywhere and you will find different options so what what i have found till now is a two-year option for 26 dollars and because i think the price after one year if you just buy this one after one year the price will go up to either 200 gigabytes 29.99 or 99 dollar for two terabyte i think the one terabyte option is then not available but definitely the price will go up um, uh, a lot so it could be a good idea to secure the lower price for two years for only 26 dollars with one terabyte this seems to be a really really nice deal for me but when you check around everything you will find even more deals what i have found so far additionally that's a two terabyte option for 30 dollar for one year so it's really crazy what you find when you dig a, uh, a little bit around so the prices are really really tempting but how does it look then in real life how does it work is the software good is it stable is it fast is it how's the support that's a, a big big uh, that can be a big problem and yeah here we have some of the reviews here on trust pilot and the reviews are really really bad i mean there's a 82 percent one star review and most of the people say yeah uh, the support is really really bad i cannot contact anyone either by phone or internet or whatsoever performance is slow and uh, after upgrading the additional storage is not showing up and it's crazy yes yeah, low download price was great but then uh, you really have to look into that before you buy i can highly recommend almost no positive feedbacks i mean usually people tend to not give feedback when it's positive and only complain when it's negative but these things are really devastating and i have been on this page i mean yeah here you can click on instructions and then you can like talk but the chat is not a real person chat is only like a computer program and the only way you can contact is by i think that was contact dot uh, contact at asuswebstore.com yeah you can click on the question mark and you will get the email address then and i have already contacted them i mean i have sent them a couple of emails during the last couple of weeks and i never never ever got any kind of feedback that's absolutely crazy and this is absolutely the same as other people say support is ex actually totally inexistent so you have to be careful i mean it can work for a little bit but if you have any kind of problem let's say you have your backup here then you have a problem with the computer then you want to get your data and there's a problem yeah if there's no support maybe the, it can be a huge problem and you can't uh, get to your uh, data anymore this can be really really bad so is it a total scam no i don't think so that's a total scam probably they have to save a lot of money i don't know if they are going out of business i mean it has been looking in a similar way last year and i have been close to believe that this is a total scam and they are using the website name yeah. asus web store for something which is not related to asus but it looks like asus the big computer company it's really their website as you can see when you can uh, yeah when you go down it really says i mean there's some help thing faq and it really refers to asus web store storage.com so it looks like it's really a legit website from this asus uh, large computer company but there are also some kind of technical limitations so here in the task manager you can see the thing running in the background i mean when we go down here you can see that after installing it will be here and yeah you have a couple of options you either can open your sync folder which is the normal 
a drive where you can put these things here as I've been already showing to you and uh, yeah when I have placed something here in the sync folder I've checked how fast it is syncing and it was super slow so usually it was saying 0 0.1 megabytes like 1.5 megabits which is super 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 slow and I left it for a little bit like the first 10 minutes it was like this it looks like later on it increased a little bit with the speed so how fast was it at the end I had two files here and the large one was i think 320 megabytes and i've been able to sync it to the cloud in about half an hour yeah that's pretty slow it's not incredible slow but it is somehow slow yeah what does it really mean if we uh, project this like to higher amounts let's think about filling up the whole storage to one terabyte if it would go in the same speed exactly like this what I had during this half hour it would take around 100 days to back up everything up to one terabyte so 100 days yeah this is somehow uh, crazy especially if you're having if you're having a fast internet and I'm definitely having a fast internet so the limit is not coming from my internet service providers the limit limitation is coming from this asus web storage and yeah you have to know what you have to or what you can expect i think you can definitely not expect to have much higher performance because as you can you have been able to see this many complaints about speed but apart from that the client looks like it's not too bad i mean you have all these options you can launch the website open the sync folder then go to settings uh, see last changes uh, put it on pause if you're doing uh, other things and you need the whole bandwidth and yeah you get ah yeah you ha i had it from here you can see this two terabyte special offer for, that was from here and settings are here and you can check also what has happened you will see your info i mean whatever you have uh, how much you filled how much is available this is my free thing so yes yeah, status sync uh, collaboration uh, the software looks quite good i mean yeah you have also this backup i think that's the backup where do we have the backup i've seen it somewhere oh yeah that's here on the info uh, you have this button here open backup function and then you can select uh, which folders you want to back up to asus web storage yeah there's another option which i wanted to show you really quickly that's the selective sync i thought actually that's some kind of virtual drive some kind of cloud store services like p cloud they have really a virtual drive and i thought i have read it in, uh, somewhere that the asus web storage does ha also have virtual storage but it looks like it's not available i mean virtual storage that could or virtual drive that could be something like a usb one stick i mean something like external additional drive which is a little bit slow but still additional web uh, space which you can see and access just uh, in a really slow way here's how it works with asus web storage you have this sync and then settings this selective it's called yeah it's called selective sync and you have here the folder structure here and you can say what you want to keep locally everything which you uncheck will just be deleted and only be stored in the cloud let's say uh, here when i uncheck the only cloud it will go away here uh, it just takes a little bit of time yeah okay of course i have to click okay you can see yeah it disappeared and i can go to settings again so it isn't lost it's just only in the cloud and when i click on that and press ok it should come back but sometimes it will take a while but at least there's some possibility to use that 
the only problem which I have seen it's just a really flat structure so you cannot have a folder in a folder so I've tried that as you can see I have this subfolder here and it doesn't show up so that's a little bit of a problem so you cannot have like a, a folder in a folder and maybe just sync the subfolder or something like that so yeah that's a little bit annoying so you would have every time to open a new yeah when you want to put something here into this folder which you want to have only in the cloud you have to open uh, a new folder somehow or you have to check this and wait till it's back and then put it in and yeah this is a little bit annoying i don't know how you can work with that but i just wanted to show you that but also when we look at other things regarding this asus web storage program and it's not even the backup running it uses it uses quite some amount of memory when we compare it let's say to malware bytes it uses three megabytes and the asus uses 31 megabytes that's quite a bit and you can see there's always something running on your disk i mean yeah probably it's necessary to track everything if there's something like if you move something into this folder and then it will pick it up and move it into the cloud but that's constantly some activity which slows down your system i mean it's not much but there is something and if you have some kind of ssd you want to limit actually unnecessary read and write access and because yeah it, it can age your your storage so network is not too much but there's something all going on the whole time so you really have to know what you deal with of course you can in theory of course uh, you can close this program if you don't need a permanent sync or backup and just run it maybe overnight if you need yeah that's all that's definitely an option so overall this software doesn't look too bad so that's good but uh, we have a very 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 mixed package here and you have to know what you have to deal with so software looking good speed yeah rather not so good uh, stability yeah haven't had a problem with that website looking good price looking awesome i mean it's uh, probably the best option which you can buy for one terabyte for one year but the support the support that's the crazy thing so it's definitely not a well balanced package you have to deal with situations where you are not able to reach out to the support and when you want to really rely 100% of on some data I mean if your business is depending on this data I would definitely not go with this option if it's something which you say yeah okay I would li I would like to have a backup but it's it's not extremely important for me and i can maybe wait for a week or a month t till i get access uh, to my backups then maybe it's a good option so uh, it would be really interesting to learn from you uh, what you think about and especially if you have already opted in if you have re already paid for this for such a subscription what are your what is your experience so far how fast has it been how stable has it been especially backups and how uh, was the support have you been able to reach out to support maybe after a week or a month or has it been absolutely impossible so please leave everything down in the feedback area it would be really interesting to talk about these things and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments yeah please write everything down into the feedback area and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time